Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. I believe that hungry entrepreneurs deserve help and so today I'm going to be talking about Evernote for my Android. Evernote is one of my favorite apps. I use it on my Android device all the time. I'm using a Note 2 uh, from Samsung at the moment and wanted to share with you a few ways that I use it and hopefully give you some ideas on how you can use it as well. So the first thing that I find really helpful is to uh, on the sorting to figure out if you want to sort by notes or by notebooks. And so turn it back on here. If you sort by notes, what's going to happen, this is usually the default view, is it's going to show you the most recent notes that you've updated. This is going to be across all your different notebooks. So you can see that today I updated my workout sheet, yesterday I updated my to market media note, my business ideas, radio show, other things that I've done. So it's your most recent notes are shown at the top. So I have 3,888 notes here, or 86 notes here, and it's gonna show me my most recent ones all the way down to the least recent ones. So sometimes this is really helpful if you are just editing your most recent notes. Where it's not helpful is if you're working on a notebook and you wanna gain access to all your different notes in that specific notebook, then this isn't as helpful. Cause no, uh, for example, workbooks is gonna be one of my personal ones. These are business ones. This is a travel uh, one that I just went to New York from. So this is kind of all over the place. It's only sorting by the most recent. If you wanna sort by notebooks, you can just press back here and go notebooks. And now you can see all the different notebooks that I have, my book, business notes, personal, TDS is a salsa company I'm involved in, uh, receipts, family receipts. So this is how to gain access to it. And if I click on any of them, click business notes, for example, it's still gonna show me in order of the most recently updated one. But again, this is only now related to my business notes. So in terms of how I organize, I love Evernote again because all of the stuff that I update here on my phone is also automatically shown on my computer, my mobile devices, wherever I am, it's automatically updated. So in terms of how I structure it, I have uh, important ones that I really want to see at the top with these stars. So they're always at the top. I have business notes, personal notes. Again, this is a salsa company that I'm an investor and, and owner in. I have my receipts. I have my family receipts. Within all of these, I have categories. So within my business receipts, it'll be by, um, by quarter, so quarter one and quarter two, and I have those all sorted. So you can see how I kind of sort my stuff here. Uh, I have agreements, those are signed contracts, business cards that I keep track of, uh, my accountant, government stuff, tax stuff, family receipts, memories, recipes, um, places to check out in Toronto. I'm from Toronto. If I read a blog post about an uh, interesting place I want to go to, I can put it in here just to show you guys an example. Uh, there's a new board game place that I want to check out. There's some good ramen places, board game cafes. There's a saltwater pool, different restaurants. So wherever I see some place that I want to check out, I'll record it here and then I have it uh, automatically across all my devices. Vacation notes, Wherever, whenever I'm going on a different place. So for example, I've got a Europe cruise coming up. I'll make notes of where we're gonna be, what's in each place. So if I'm going to Rome, it'll show up on here. There's, this is how to get Rome transportation. So we don't land in the city, we land outside and this is how to get there. So I have that information accessible. And then, well, this Rome note is empty. So I haven't updated that yet. But basically for every place I go to, uh, I have my notes and then I can just load it up and uh, I have access to everything. So this is Parma de Mallorca, one of the places we're stopping at. I just go to Cruise Credit's uh, website, take everything I want, has all the information about it. So I don't have to worry about reading it quite yet. But when I get there or the day before or the dinner before, I can just open up my, my Android, pull up Evernote, read all about it, figure out where we're gonna go that day. So I find that super helpful for organizing all of my personal and business stuff. I have different notebooks for it. I find really helpful to categorize. To expand and subtract this little arrow here and I can just minimize that and then it's back to its main category. And one thing that I just recently found really helpful is getting offline access. So one of the benefits of using Evernote is that you can have access to your notes when you're offline as well as you're online. The default is that it's gonna be online. So you can only get access to your notes if you're actually online. One thing that helped recently, I just came back from New York. I did a radio show there and had some business deals that I had to get done there. So I made a note here. So I made a new notebook called 2013 New York. 
And if you can read it, it says private and offline. And so that means all of these notes in here, I can get access to offline. So for example, I had my radio show. This is information that I want uh, part of my script, what I was gonna talk about. I uh, had to get directions to the radio show. So staying at the Novotel in Times Square, I had to get to 291 Central Park West and uh, I can, oh, it's not scrolling down. Let's try that again. Radio directions, there we go. And that's how to actually get there. So I could just pull this up on my phone, get on the subway, I ended up walking, it was a pretty good walk. But basically I have all the access to the information I need. I wanted to go to Uniqlo, one of my favorite stores to shop at. Uh, they don't have it here in Toronto, there's two locations in New York, so here they are, I could figure out where I am, just pull up my map, and I could walk to the closest location. So all the stuff that I had to do, I had my flight ticket here, I flew in on Porter, my boarding pass was here, easy to get access, my membership card was here, so I can scan it in and get my points. It's all put in this one folder called New York uh, 2013. And to make sure that you have access to it at all times, the trick to do this, and this was frustrating, I actually figured this out on the plane uh, while I was on the tarmac uh, in Toronto. You click on this little arrow here. And that little arrow, when you click on it, a little finicky, you have this option at the top that says offline sync. So this is automatically now for offline sync. And this is so important because if you don't have internet connection, you know, when I went to New York, I didn't have a data program. If I did, I'd be roaming and I'd have to pay a lot of money. So the only way to get access is if you go to a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is not always available. So you wanna have your notes available. So you wanna make sure that you have offline sync on. So an example for, for my Europe trip coming up, that's private, but it's not listed as offline yet. So that means when I get there to get access to my notes, I'd have to actually connect to the internet, which will be expensive and a big pain. So I wanna make sure that that's available to me offline. I'll click on that arrow enable offline sync and now it's going to sync it so that I can have access regardless of if I'm on the internet or not. So that's a little bit of a quick hit on how I use my Evernote on my Android device. Uh, if you guys have questions I'd love to answer them for you if you want to leave it in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it uh, helps you know I'm on the right track and I'll do a lot more of these for you. Thank you and I will see you on the next episode.